So sub base for P3, number six is dead. Where do you think number six is gonna spawn? Yeah, I'm kinda stumped. Um, yeah, no problem. So I know for a fact okay. he can't spawn there. He can't spawn there. Yeah. So that leaves up this spawn, this spawn, and then these spawns over here. And they're all smashed in the middle? Yep. Oh my God. Um, no, it's hard. It is a hard one. Yeah. I feel like he's gonna spawn, yeah, on, uh, I guess, docks or whatever you call this. Outskirts? I'll just stick with P2 just for the hell of it. Hell yeah. Okay, we got an outskirts, we got a P2. I'm just gonna, for the hell of it, go on the third one over here. Let's just see what happens. I mean, I guess you could ask Curry, but, I mean, bro, you're already you just... Oh my gosh. What? No matter what, these spawns will get updated and change over time, especially when ranked play comes out. Sledgehammer, they already came out and even said that. They said, guys, we will change these spawns. They will make a lot more sense. Um, now, already, there's a lot of fundamentals that we kind of went through uh, that most people should know about, such as one fundamental we talk about is the quadrant rule, which is just very simply, if you're spawning in one quadrant, usually that means the enemy is spawning in the opposite diagonal, which for P1 on invasion hardpoint, these are literally the spawns. One player is going to spawn right here. If you spawn right here, that means the other enemy is spawning over here. In tier one of my Discord, I do have access to all of these spawns. Just bouncing off of this uh, quadrant rule, like we can talk about it right here, uh, where for hard point one, we're saying right now that if you're spawning right here, the enemies are spawning in the opposite diagonal quadrant right here. Now, I also do have S's pulled up, and these S's count as secondary spawns. And what a secondary spawn is, is if for some reason we have our teammate pushing all the way up in this lane and he's like sitting right here, this would actually cause these enemies to just spawn a little bit further out towards this quadrant. And the same thing goes for the other side where if these guys, the red guys were pushing up this street, these blue guys would actually just be spawning inside of fountain right over here. Now this brings me into my next part, which is what if we want to flip these spawns, right? What if we actually don't want these spawns at all? Um, a good example is talking about P4. So for the P4 spawns, good spawns are right here and a little bit further back right over here. And then the bad spawns are basically right here. And occasionally you might spawn inside of the gas station over here. You don't want to spawn here at all. Because not only are you going to be faced into a or forced into a fatal funnel where all these enemies off spawn are just already looking at you, but if you don't flip spawns and you stay in these spawns, you're also going to lose P5. And instantly, you can go down by 100 points just by spawning right here. Because the enemies, they're all spawning right here. They can just shoot you off spawn. They have a bunch of cover to get to this hard point. You don't. They soak up all that time. And even if you do break into that hard point, they're just going to sit there and just say, all right, fine, we're just going to go new. So if we want to flip spawns, it is always highly recommended to try and have two players to try and flip spawns around the 40-second mark. Uh, so what does that look like? The f uh, 40 second mark, which is 40 seconds left of P4, we would sit there and say, guys, we want to flip these spawns. So what you might do is you might have one AR player sitting up here and maybe one AR player back here, just, you know, causing damage, right? Causing a nuisance. Now these two players, these two players, their job is basically to try and flip these spawns by flanking it together. Um, ideally, it would be way better to push up middle and flank like this, but they could you know, go middle cut right here and do it like this instead. Um, but no matter what, it's just setting ourselves up for success. Where, hey guys, we're gonna lose 40 seconds of time right now, but it's gonna be so worth it because when we flip these spawns, we're gonna be set up for P5 and we're gonna get a full 60 on P5. And that's already going to put us in a 20 point advantage. That is probably the most important thing about um, knowing when to flip spawns and just looking for it early. It's actually it's actually being aware of, holy crap, guys, we have bad spawns. Let's invest, you know, uh, 40 seconds of old time just to flip spawns. And that sets, uh, sets us up for P5.
Uh, those are like the call outs and like the things that people need to decide as a team. Uh, because I'm sure maybe you guys have ran into this by playing eights or just by playing ranked play, or I mean, just by playing public match, but just by constantly hitting this hard point over and over and over again, it's just not it. It's just not the play at all. This requires you to actually push into the spawn. Like you actually have to get into this spawn to flip these spawns. That's not how it is for every spawn. Uh, so now this is where I would like to bring up P2. Uh, because P2 is notoriously known to have, I guess, messed up spawns. Uh, because these spawns are basically right here. And then right here. And for whatever reason, if this team over here that's spawning up, if they all leave past this wall and they kill, let's say, you know, three enemies, if they kill three enemies at P2, for some reason, these enemies spawn behind them. I, I, I genuinely don't know why um, this happens and like why it's this like uh, sensitive, but basically you have to like know about the spawn and know what you want to do with it. And this is where we can like start transitioning into like, you know, manipulating spawns, right? So we know about spawns. We know they spawn in the opposite diagonal. We know where they're spawning. We know that we can manipulate it by flipping them. Uh, you can also manipulate it right here as well where you could sit there and say, all right, guys, for the first, uh, for the first 30 seconds, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put F for first, and then I'm going to put L for last 30 seconds. Uh, so for the first 30 seconds, we actually want to have a player anchoring. So as long as you have one player behind this wall, no matter what, these enemies will always spawn back here no matter what. So you, like, you could get into a spawn trap like this, right? You can have a player on tank, one player on time, and then one player um, pushed up right here, just spawn trapping these enemies over and over and over and over again. But at the last 30 seconds, when you wanna rotate towards P3, this guy leaves, and the second this guy leaves, now all these enemies are spawning back here. And now what happens is like, let's say one of us died, we spawn up here, and now we have a much easier rotation to P3 than these guys do. One weird thing about um, some of these spawns is some of them just don't make sense. Again, uh, like we, we can quickly just talk about P5, where for P5, this is one of those hills on whoever rotates early, they win. Uh, because for some reason, their spawns here, their spawns here, and then their spawns here, and then their spawns here, and that's it. That is literally it. And for whatever reason, occasionally, the enemies will just randomly spawn behind you. And P5 is just one of those hills where it's like, dude, just rotate early, win the rotation for P5. Uh, so that's where I would say, you know, going back to, hey, screw 30 seconds of P4. Let's get P5 because we can get a full 60. Because uh, the spawns are just stuck like this. Really stupid. I know for a fact these will be changed when there's an update coming out. For terminal, if you're blue team, you are in the worst disadvantage ever. Because for whatever reason, as long as red team holds these lanes and they keep spawning over here, as long as red team keeps spawning over here, they have P1, they have P2, they have P4, and they have P5. The only hard point uh, that blue team would have like a decent rotation towards is, P is P3. Uh, so all I'm trying to say is like, once you get really good as a team and you guys know how to just play your lives, win the gunfights, not die, you can quite literally just spawn the blue team in this spawn the entire game. And if this team doesn't know how to coordinate a hit, there's no way they're going to win. Uh, so <laughs> if you're playing eights and you're spawning as red team, congratulations. You more than likely just won this map. Um, and I just want to point out the reason why it's a, a really broken map. It's because normally you can get into a spawn trap like this, where one player is just spawn trapping the guys, one player is holding the cross. This guy also counts as a anchor. Um, this guy can obviously play P1 and he can play P4 if he wants to. He counts as an anchor as well. And then this player right here, he can either you know go up for a flank, 
or he can just you know go back over here to help him or he can go over here to help number three of course they can spawn outside like here occasionally and that like might get them a free you know rotate but that's where number two comes into play he can watch that cross if anything um, and this is what pro players are thinking about all the time. They're just thinking about where can we all four sit to force spawn these enemies in one quadrant and we can just spawn trap them over and over again. Yeah, no problem. So now I just want to leave you guys with how can we practice and like, you know, actually work on memorizing these spawns. Um, I, re I, I recommend two different things. Either you can pull up the spawns and look at them while playing the game and be like, okay, so it's P1. These are the spawns. We got our primary, primary, and then primary, secondary, secondary, bet, 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 bet. And then you can just like literally just play the game and occasionally like look back and forth between two screens. Or what I prefer is pulling up pro gameplay and seeing that, okay, they're playing invasion right now. Let me pull this up. Uh, all right, they're about to switch to P5. So because they're about to switch to P5, honestly, number four might spawn behind number eight over here. We'll see. Okay, look at that. He spawned behind them over there. Cool. Now it's a new hard point. Number three and number five died. Uh, can anyone guess where number three and number five might spawn? In like street right exactly street um now i will say that because we have teammates over here i truthfully believe that number five should spawn over here and then number three that just died he should spawn over here in fact he's probably going to spawn like right here um but let's go ahead and press play and see what happens oh, I can rip Take the thing I can know my all right sweet number three spawn there number five spawn there Cool, I got it right. And uh, now, like, you also don't have to, like, do it just for one map. Like, you could just randomly click on a map and just, like, guess. Like, okay, boom. Randomly clicked. Okay, that's not a good one. All right, boom. Randomly clicked. Uh, right now, number two is dead, and P4 is about to pop. Can anyone guess where number two is going to spawn when P4 pops right now? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and guess. I'm going to guess that number two... He's either going to spawn back here uh, because all of red teams over here and then like blue teams back here, or he might spawn clock tower because number seven is right there. And this one, this one's going to be a hard one, um, but let's press play and just figure it out. All right, perfect. Number two did spawn in the back right there. And I'm assuming that because all of red team is middle, that's why he didn't spawn right here. Um... And of course, I, I did that without checking the Discord, but you could, you know, check it beforehand and be like, oh, P4. Oh, look at that. There's the primary spawn. That's exactly where he just spawned right there. And the more I'm looking at it, I just realized there's not a clock spawn. So there's not a clock spawn. <laughs> and this is how I personally memorize spawns. And it's honestly a lot of fun for me. It's just randomly clicking somewhere. Um, so... We have about eight minutes left uh, just for fun. If, if, if you don't want to do it, you can just leave. <laughs> but just for fun, um, I'd like to test you guys. And we're just going to start from top to bottom. Um, and I'm randomly just going to click somewhere. And right now, I want to ask Atomic, uh, player number one on blue team just died, and player number five on red team just died. It is terminal P5. Where do you think uh, these guys are going to spawn? P1, P2, P4, or P5. And one just died in sight. So he'd probably be spawning around primary spawn P2 or secondary spawn probably metal detectors. Yeah, I honestly think he should be spawning here. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't spawn I, here unless it's a bad game. <laughs> I, I think he should spawn planes. I you feel like he's going to spawn like around B flag. Oh, uh, okay. So like somewhere around here. Yeah, I think he's going to spawn somewhere there. Interesting. Because number two is over there. That's why. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we're going to roll with, um, we're going to roll with Atomic's prediction at security. And Atomic, what about 
uh, red team, five. number five. Yeah. Five. Could be around plane. Could be around plane. Right? right? Like probably right here. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking red player should spawn here. I'm going to guess and say the blue player might actually spawn here and we might actually see a flip. But I don't know. Let's let's press play and see what happens. Oh, well, damn. Number one spawned in really fast. So number one actually spawned back here. Um, I was I was a little bit correct. I was a little bit correct. going to spawn out. Because right. It's like too cluttered right here. Number two is already at AC. So I think that already like messed them up right there. The yeah. Fact that number two is so yeah, because number two spawned over there actually. Yeah, yeah. So it, they were already fucked before like number two was even out. And as soon as number two died, I'm pretty sure that's when they were fucked. Gotcha. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. No, it it was a it was a tough one. It was a tough one. Obviously, if we had context and we knew that number two spawned there, we would probably definitely know number one spawned there. Um, but we actually don't know where number five spawns yet. Let's let's see. Ah, gotcha. He spawned in that weird spawn you were talking about. He spawned in the primary. Gotcha. Um, and yeah, all this shows is the enemy team, they just ended up flipping spawns. That's all that happened. Um, and the by reason... The hill. Yep, exactly, by flooding the hill. Um, specifically, they got two players in hill. They got one player pushed this uh, past the left lane, and this player's about to push up towards hill as well. And when you look at the quadrants, basically these players are blocking these quadrants. These players are blocking these quadrants. So blue team should not spawn here. And I think number eight leaves that eventually. So then that's why blue spawns there. I don't know. But it's not supposed to be easy. <laughs> uh, but now we could uh, move on to our next player. Uh, so we are going to do this with uh wavy now so wavy i'm gonna randomly click somewhere this one's gonna be a tough one because it's sub base sub base has the worst spawns Aww. so sorry <laughs> um, this is gonna be tough because i'm still trying to remember where like the names of where everything is oh the call outs yeah i'm still trying to learn that so all good bro dude phase clan optic they all came out with brand new call outs and they're pretty much the, almost the exact opposite opposites of what I came up with. Um, all right, so right now we have number two on red team dead, and we are going to go to sub base for P3. All right, yeah, okay. So sub base for P3, number six is dead. Where do you think number six is gonna spawn? Yeah, I'm kind of stumped. Um, yeah, no problem. So I know for a fact okay. he can't spawn there. He can't spawn there. Yeah. So that leaves up this spawn, this spawn, and then these spawns over here. So which player? Which player? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, number six, I think, just died. Number six just died. This is P3. And they're all smashed in the middle. Yep. Oh, my God. Um, no, it's hard. It is a hard one. Yeah. I feel like he's going to spawn, yeah, on, uh, I guess, docks or whatever you call this. Outskirts? Outskirts? Okay, what about you, Wavy? Do you think outskirts or over here at P2? P2 is oh. also a good spawn, too. I'd say P2. Mm, dude, right? I'm so confused about this one because we have... One is P2. He's at fuels. That's why. Right, yeah, yeah. He's so blocking that side, if I'm not mistaken. And it, But it's interesting because this player is also technically blocking this side. Mm. Uh, so it's, it's it's gonna be a hard one it's gonna be a hard up. one yeah um but what's the final what's the spawn outside of all these circles all right what, what's your final answer uh wavy what, where do you think um i'll just stick with p2 just for the hell of it hell yeah okay we got an outskirts we got a p2 i'm just gonna for the hell of it go on the third one over here let's just see what happens i mean i guess you could ask it first but i mean bro, you're already just... oh my gosh what? So number five died, and number five spawns right here. On P2, in front of uh, ACs and all that. Yep, too. and then number two turns around, and then because number one pushes up, eight spawns there. Wow. Um. So the the biggest one that I'm upset about 
is this one right here. Like this should not be a spawn it's right a here spawn. at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like he all of them. Get, like he's about to get farmed. <laughs> exactly. Jesus exactly. Oh uh, dang. Okay. Okay. All right. It's rough. No, yeah. These these ones are, these ones are a little rough, uh, but they will change. All right. On to Jason. Jason. Let's go ahead. Randomly click on. Oh, you too. Let's randomly click on this map right here. All right, number five just died, and it is P3 right now. So I will. Yeah, yeah that's it. I couldn't see it. Cool. Right. All right, number five just died. Uh, by number six. Yeah, absolutely. If he's just died there, I can't. I was thinking maybe across it with seven, but. Uh, sorry, I don't know the call outs yet. I'm learning them. No, but, you're um, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it just seems too far, but I could be wrong. No, no, man. You're 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 right on point. And that, that's what I was saying. Some of these are like freaking hard, and some of these are a little a little easy. Like right there for hard point P3, these guys can only spawn at Fountain, and that's really the only place he yeah, did spawn. I would, would have struggled on the harder one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so, yeah, no, some of these are insane. All right, and then last but not least, good old Daisy or oh me yeah yeah I've been partaking in this dude yeah Daisy you've been here for a minute so I'm gonna give you a hard one if you don't mind whoa yeah so from Shotzi's perspective mm -hmm. on that. P3. P P3 Karachi. We just got done killing three enemies. Where are these three enemies spawning? Oh, this is crazy. Hold on. <laughs> right, give me a second. Okay. okay. So once top third, currently in a gunfight. Uh, yeah. Did he just win that gunfight? Or oh, it doesn't matter. You're talking about the other three. If that's the case, then that means those other uh, three players should be spawning like P2 Diner-ish. P2 Diner. Okay. That's what I think. Yeah. That is that is a solid guess. That is a solid guess. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna have to press play and find out, honestly. Yeah, we'll watch them spawn some. Yeah. I personally think that these guys are gonna be spawning. Yeah, because that guy just lost a gunfight up top. All so the way he back. Lost a gun side top third, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, so basically, I'm pretty sure. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they all spawned yeah. right here. So, mm -hmm. right here, they all spawned like right here, and then one guy pushed Damn up it. middle. One guy probably rotated to new. One guy's going top to new. And then one guy's going top over here. That was my here. second guess. That was my second guess. Yeah. They were going to spawn, like, basically at spawn. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, no. And, uh, and, and like, this is where, with the spawns, um, like, these are secondaries. Like, the only time the enemy should spawn over here is if your teammate, like, started rotating and he started pushing through. Mm -hmm. Or if it's uh, parallel, right? So... Like, let's say there's an enemy fighting here, and then your teammate's fighting here. Basically, the way the spawns would go is red team should be spawning right here, right here, and then blue team would be spawning right here and right here. And then, basically, those are parallels. Um, but, yeah. That does conclude the session. Thank you, everyone who stopped by. Do we have any final questions or anything? I have a question. Yeah, yeah. How do you, uh, so I've been playing a lot of eights lately, and I've been getting this uh, little name or this little call out called Drop Anchor. Yes, and, Drop uh, Anchor. Push through, push through this, uh, push through through point to basically flip the other team. Yes. Uh, I'm still trying to learn exactly what they mean by that when they call that out. Like, what do I do as like a flex or something like that? So, like, I know they're calling out for the anchor, but what can I do to like help that? kind of like slow should i be already rotating to like new spawn or something like so um there's actually a few different ways uh to go about this but like p2 is a great example where for p2 for whatever reason as long as you have one player behind this wall the enemies will never spawn behind you so as long as you have one player right here the enemies will never spawn behind you and your teammates will be playing like this or something, right? 
Yeah. But the millisecond that you hear drop anchor, give it up, the second that this player leaves this wall, all the enemies are now spawning behind them. God damn, that's true. That happens a lot. And if we died, we now have a way easier rotation to P3 than these guys do. And this is where, like, uh, basically, when you leave, you would basically turn around. This guy would come middle with you, and then you two would spawn trap these guys off spawn while this guy rotates to new. This guy would soak up time. And then while we're getting P3 time, you might want to rotate early for P4 and P5. So this guy pushes through to flip spawns again. This spawns them all the way over here. And now these guys turn around and start spawn trapping them. Okay. So when they were like, because they would call it out, like, oh, I 40 seconds dropped anchor. I was like, what? That seems kind of a little drastic, doesn't it? Is that something that's normal, like preferably? Uh, when do you drop anchor? It would, so like. From like, it'll be from like P2, it'll be from like P2 to P3. That's when they usually call it for something, for like a hill like that. For invasion. To it. Yeah, this yeah, one makes sense. Yeah. Uh, can you, do you have like another hill example by chance or no? Uh, 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 you can go to Skid Row. Skid Row, actually, yes. Skid Row, like P two to yes P three. P two to P three. Yeah. So that's like that top blue all the way to back alley. Mm -hmm. Right. So this one's so a little awkward because if you have old P two time, like why would you give up anchor? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh because no matter what if you're up here more than likely either your teammates are spawning over here and they're going to new or they're spawning at tunnel and then they can so go to i new. should so that's one of those hills where you just sit there like and just soak up every second absolutely it's a money hill that is a money, money hill. hill okay yeah and where, where would uh so then i'm assuming player four on point would go to steps and watch that long hallway or like what, what would be what would be his next power position so let's say apartments yeah 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 so like let's say right now it's like let's say they were anchoring this right so like let's say you and your team are in a setup like this where all the enemies are spawning tunnel and then you guys said all right let's set up for p3 and p4 give up anchor spot what that might mean is this guy rotates early at 40 seconds or whatever and then these two guys try to push through tunnel and what happens is eventually all the enemies are going to be spawning out over here. And what you can do is normally you can go bottom garage and just sit right here and just spawn trap them. And then you have another teammate, number one, right here to hold a cross with you to spawn trap them. And then your two teammates over here, uh, ideally they would go top middle and help you. And then one guy would anchor uh, like back here. Okay. And then once again, once you guys die, you guys are now all spawning at P4. You guys now have spawns for P4, and you just chained P2 to P3 to P4. Okay. Does that kind of answer it or no? Yeah, yeah no, that answered it. That answers it. Cool, cool. There's um, one more hill. I just forgot yeah. what, the, what, what hill it was. It's like a hill where you don't need to really touch it as long as it's white. It's white. Uh, it's also sub base. Yeah, yeah, P3. Right, P3. Yeah. Yeah, no. So, like, oh, baby, this is perfect, actually. When would you, like, drop anchors for these? Like, like I don't really see a point of dropping anchor in this kind of map. <laughs> Hell no. This map is all just like get just kills. Play all scrappy. Yeah, it's all bokage. This is all that. This, that's what this map is. It's bokage. Oh, is Bocage from Vanguard? Yeah, just get kills. Kills, 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 no kills. Wiggies, that's brother, all that's it is. Fun. That's a good way. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's a good way to reference that because that was fun. When you look at it, like the hills are just really close to each other. Yeah, and like this is again, so this is just like Terminal where the team who spawns at security, they get four hard points. As long as they don't flip spawns, they have four hard points in their name. Same thing oh, with this yeah. side. The team spawning on this side, for some reason, they get P1, P2, and P3, and basically P5. P5, yeah. And they have top thirds? Like, what the heck? That's not as fair. You, <laughs> yeah, as long as you keep them off of P4, like, you're basically free. Literally. Literally. That does conclude our session talking about spawns. Um, if you guys do have any questions, please message me as much as you'd like, and I'm always happy to help.
Like even if you guys die or like get broken in a setup, please send over that clip and I'm always happy to help. Uh, really at the end of the day, communication is what helps us get better. So awesome. Awesome. Um, really, uh, if there's homework for next week, I would say the homework would be obviously learn these spawns and find any new spawns if you can. Um, quite frankly, I'm pretty sure all these spawns are exact and there aren't any new ones, but if there are, I'd love it if you guys can correct me, please. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend and happy holidays. Gee, thanks a lot. Yes, sir.